Hi guys, it's Kayla and welcome to my very first Let's Play video that is not an Otome game and that is going to be for Shuffle. Shuffle is a visual novel and dating simulator still, however we are going to be a male and the love interests are all female. This is the family friendly version of the game too in case you're wondering so there will be no H scenes. This particular VN also has an anime of the same name which I have seen all of so I'm pretty excited to see how it is translated in this game. I even had to buy a PC just to play this game, but there are lots of games that are PC specific, so I thought it was time to go ahead and get one. So yeah, any PC games that you guys want me to play, you can comment that below too, and let's just get started. June 13th, Sunday. Then how about that lady over there? Ah, oh, yes, not bad. I would rate her a 75. A 75? You're pretty strict. If you ask me, I thought you deserved an 80. You shouldn't have such a narrow world view. This world is full of even more stunning beauties. If we rate her an 80, that limits the rating for a superior beauty to only 20 more points. I see. You seem to know a lot, sir. It's only because I've lived a few more years than you have, but young man, you possess quite the discerning eye for your age. I'm impressed. I'm guessing we're Reen. No, I still haven't reached my full potential yet. I, Itsuki Midoriba, am highly regarded by my peers at Verbana Academy. I believe I have quite a discerning eye for women. I see. So you're a student at Verbana Academy then that's even more promising. <laughs> um, Sunday, just before the beginning of the rainy season, a season that sees a favorable upward trend in temperature and humidity. <sighs> the sight unfolding at the meeting place was a strange conversation, like a comedy show in fact, which I witnessed in blank amazement from my VIP seat. How much longer are you gonna be, Itsuki? What? Oh, Rain, you're here? I've been here all along since I arrived 30 whole seconds before our meeting time. Rain is here, friend? Yes, more or less. We were supposed to meet up, huh? It completely slipped my mind. <laughs> Come on, I sprinted as fast as I could to get here on time. Wow, in this heat? I wouldn't have been upset if you were a little late. You should have just walked. Be flexible with the women's, but always challenge a man's slightest tardiness. Who's the one who's always saying that, huh? Last time when I was three minutes late, you forced me to buy porn online using my name. Yeah, well that sure was boring. The actress obviously lied about her age. It pissed me off so much I sent into a magazine using a fake name along with the distributor's address. Don't tell me you forgot that it was purchased under my name. If it turns into a big deal, I'm the one who's gonna get in trouble. Try not to get Kaide involved when you do, okay? I sometimes wonder why I'm even your friend. Even as I utter this to myself, I understood once again. Itsuki Midoriba, my classmate and bad friend. We've been friends since the beginning of school, but at times I question why I became friends with him in the first place. He likes beautiful women and his hobby is to try and pick them up. Of course we have to have the ridiculous best friend. At first, anyone would think he's just a sleazy playboy, but the fact that he's also the valedictorian at school makes you wonder if God makes decisions on a whim. Very well, friendship is a beautiful thing. Never forget to value your friends. Who is this man? Since I had time before you got here, I was picking up girls and met this guy. We totally hit it off. <laughs> Indeed. Women are eternal mysteries to us. Thus we found a kindred spirit in each other since we never give up on pursuing them. His noble face and calm demeanor distinguished him from us as an adult, and his pointed ears revealed that he wasn't human. Okay, so that's another cool thing that I like about this game, is that it has a supernatural element, but that's kind of just like a sideline. Like, it's perfectly normal that there's just some supernatural stuff. A demon. Since the opening of the gateway ten years ago, they become a familiar presence. I would see them as I walked around town, and even some of my classmates were demons. That's why it wasn't alarming that this man was a demon. It was nothing to be alarmed about, but... Never seen a demon up close, huh? He must have sensed how I stared at him for a second. The man called me out with a wry laugh. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's not that. I just felt very nostalgic for a moment. Nostalgic? Like we've met before, but it must be my imagination. I don't have any demon acquaintances your age. Reen, if you're gonna make a pass, find a lady. My bad friend stepped back five meters away from me with a horrified expression on my face. If you're being serious... Anyway, let's continue our conversation. Three men blessed by genetics are gathered here. It would be blasphemy if we don't take advantage of it. Nah, I'm okay. I have no interest in that. Listen, Reen, this isn't just about having interest or not. You see, the world sees many talents. People are blessed with talents in art, writing, and music. There's nothing wrong with fostering those talents, right? Am I wrong? When a talented artist creates a masterpiece, they are to be praised. Their great efforts deserve to be praised. The same goes for appearances. It's one of those talents some of us are just born with. 
Say a woman who possesses the talent to be beautiful worked hard to achieve her utmost beauty. Then don't you agree that praising her is the right thing to do? She fostered her talent to be beautiful with success. As men, it is our duty to praise and appreciate that great effort. So actually, the act of fitting on a woman is a reward for most men, for the woman who worked so hard. <laughs> that can't possibly be true. He had an overly confident attitude and manner of speaking. I knew that. I was frustrated at myself for not having a decent comeback. Now that we're all on the same page, shall we? Perfect timing. Take a look at that lady. Appearance, style, elegance, she's nailed it all. The finest class. A man would be disrespectful not to acknowledge such beauty. The man's face lit up as if he were a fisherman who caught a big catch. He pointed out a woman who was about to pass in front of us. In that instant, Itsuki and I immediately grew pale. Oh, sir, wait up. I wouldn't. As he sensed danger, Itsuki raised his voice and reached out to stop him, but the man dodged skillfully and offered the woman a chivalrous smile. Beautiful lady, I find it hard to believe, but are you alone right now? Even the most cliche pickup lines sound like music coming from a handsome man like him. A gentle smile broke out on his attractive face. His fluid movements were executed with calm. Everything was perfectly balanced. There was nothing exaggerated in his conduct. He knew simple and direct comments resonate more with the heart. There can't be that many women in this world who can completely defend themselves from a man of his caliber advances. But, oh, sorry to burst your bubble, but frankly, I'm sick of people telling me that I'm beautiful. It means nothing to me. He landed on a bad target this time. Now he's done it. I'm gonna run. Man, let's meet up later. I don't think that'll make any difference. If we run before we get caught, we win. There's no murder until they find the body. It's the same theory as that. I don't quite get how it's similar, but Miss Benny's already on us. Seriously? Itsuki raised his voice and jumped back as he looked around. Narashiko Binibara was our world history teacher and homeroom teacher at Verbana Academy. Her emphasis on effort and friendship and teaching quickly won over the trust of her students. But because she was a super direct and enthusiastic teacher, when handling a freewheeling student like Itsuki, she sometimes could also be hellishly strict. Her sharp chestnut colored eyes looked right past the demon man who wanted her attention and completely locked onto Itsuki. Her flawless beautiful face took on an irresistible smile that could captivate all the surroundings Men. I'm not going to give you a hard time about your attempts to pick up women, but I demand an explanation for why you were absent from my supplementary class yesterday, Nita Reba. <laughs> well, let's see, um, 50 laps around the field with a tire, or 30 round trips on the stairs with squats. Which do you prefer? It's game over, man. At least call it checkmate or something more dignified. <laughs> and so, Itsuki was taken away by her homeroom teacher on a mandatory date. He was sure to be sore all over the next day. Miss Binny's education methods were nothing short of hardcore. Hmm, I didn't expect that lovely lady to be your teacher. I must apologize. Well, Itsuki has to take responsibility for the class he ditched. You reap what you sow. What are you going to do now? Well, the person I had plans with just left me hanging, so I'm just going to go wander around and go back home. I see. Then I shall bid you farewell. Be sure to tell that young man that I enjoyed his company. Will do. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye for now. The coat tied around his waist flapped dramatically as he turned, and the demon man disappeared off into town. He kind of reminds me of Damien from Dream Daddy, if you guys have played that game. For now, are we meeting again? Slightly confused by his vague words, I started walking in search for my next destination. Oh yeah, we're out of milk. I should go get some. There was no point in asking Kaede. I could already imagine her saying, don't worry about it, and going to the store herself, which was why I'd rather buy it and force it upon her. As I thought of my roommate's properness, I walked further into the shopping district. That time of day, it was pretty much empty. I wandered around aimlessly in the supermarket. Since I was there, I thought I may as well buy something else along with the milk. As long as I got the ingredients together, I was sure Kaede would prepare anything for me at all. Uncle had gone on a business trip too. I normally don't particularly care what I'm having for dinner. Anyway, let's start out with a staple, meat. I headed towards the meat corner with a shopping basket carrying the milk in my hand. Hmm, when I think in terms of grams, this one's cheaper, but overall, this one's the best deal. Father eats quite a bit, so this deal's actually better for us. Oh, how about this for a change? No, what am I thinking? If I'm getting that, it's cheaper to get it at the other store. There, I encountered a rare sight. Oh, this is Sia. I really liked her character in the anime. Nowadays, it's rare to see a young girl who seems to know her way around a kitchen. She was frowning at the shelf packed with products. Anyone would agree that she was a beautiful girl with friendly eyes. I'm used to seeing beautiful women and girls, but I must admit, she was pretty high up there. If Itsuki had been there, he would definitely be all over her. Plus, her ears. A god, maybe? Her ears were undoubtedly long, but not as long as a demon's. Plus, there was something undeniably pleasant about her. Well, not
not to say that demons always seem darker, but considering the demons and gods I've met, I feel that my observation skills still hold true. There are certainly exceptions, like Mayumi as well. But in any case, witnessing a beautiful girl acting domestic and contemplating about groceries is a rare sight. The closest we usually got was our school's cooking club related events. Hmm? The girl suddenly turned around. We made direct eye contact. Um, did I freak her out? An awkward silence descends upon us as we stare at each other. Oh, hey! Which do you suggest I buy, Reen? She knows us and we didn't know her? The girl's face suddenly broke into a smile. What? I did my best to narrow it down to two choices, but now I'm faced with a difficult decision. One of us eats quite a bit at home, so I was thinking of getting two packs of these, or one extra large pack. Uh, it's a tough call. Hey, which do you think is better? Um, if the person eats that much, I guess it's better to go with two packs. As if I was pulled in by her bright and genuine smile, I immediately responded to her question. Oh, so you agree with me. It's true. Father eats quite a bit. Okay then, I'm gonna go with two packs of these. The girl took the two packs in her hand and placed them in her basket with a great smile. Thanks. Because of you, I'm gonna make the limited time sale. Oops, but only just barely. Aw, I wanted to talk more with you. Sorry, there's another limited time sale at the pharmacy in front of the station for toilet paper and I have to go. Oh, well, it's no big deal. Please don't worry about it. Thank you very much. I'll see you later, Reen. The girl bowed her head very low once and maintained her bright smile until she disappeared from the sight like the wind. From beneath her short skirt, I thought I saw a flash of light blue for a split second. I suppose that was just another part of her girlish charm. Her energy could rival even Asa Senpai. With a small, dry laugh, I headed for my own face-off with the food products. I plodded down the alleyway from the shopping district to the place I'm currently staying at. I held plastic shopping bags in both hands, which were packed with groceries. Well, at least we don't need to go to the store for a while. Even if we needed to, it would be smaller things that didn't weigh this much. As a freeloader, I needed to help the family taking care of me as much as I could. Kaede already tended to cater to my needs every chance that she got. She'd have to accept it if I told her I was at the store for my groceries anyway. Might as well fold the plastic bags too. I'm confident that I'm quicker at it than Kaede. As I turned the corner thinking about things like that, I suddenly heard a melody. It was a song. It was high and clear like glass. The beautiful and clear voice and song flowed like the wind. I wasn't particularly interested in the song itself, but it had me rooted to the spot. It wasn't about likes or dislikes. The song possessed a strange power that latched onto my existence at that very place. I naturally headed in the direction the song was coming from. I turned a corner that led me in the opposite direction of my house. There, I ended up at a small park. It was a space so narrow, I was reluctant to call it a park. Located in the middle of a residential area, the park had only a single swing and a sandbox. I remembered playing here often as a kid, but when they built a big playground with a fountain nearby, everyone preferred to hang out there instead. I like this park better, though. The song was coming from that park. The old swing cracked as if swayed a little. I saw a lone girl sitting there. She had long blue hair that reached down to her waist. Her head sat delicately on top of her slender body. She was overall short in height, but had long, well-proportioned limbs. I think her name was Nerene. It's been a really long time. I liked her as well. Like the song being sung from her small lips, the girl's beauty captivated you at a glance. A demon? Like the two I met earlier, she had noticeably long ears. It was evident that she wasn't human. Her lonesome presence also suggested that she was a demon. I closed my eyes after setting my groceries on the ground to focus on the girl's voice. The melody devoured me and fused into all cells of my body, becoming one. It was a strange sensation. It seemed like the song itself had a real warmth to it. The song suddenly stopped. At the same time, I heard a small voice. When I opened my eyes, I caught the girl staring at me bashfully. When I realized that my presence disrupted the girl's singing, I bowed my head without hesitation. No! She sounded surprised at my behavior, but immediately broke into a smile. I was just a little surprised. Please, do not worry about it. It was the same clear and beautiful voice as the singing. For some reason, my face grew warm just hearing her voice. I looked away as if I was trying to hide it and scratched at my cheeks as I walked over to her. You sing well. I was a little frustrated at the fact that those were the only words I could come up with, but it couldn't be helped. It's moments like these when I feel a greater respect for Itsuki. It's nothing special. There are plenty of people who are far better than I am. The girl humbly replied, but could it have been my imagination? I sensed loneliness hiding behind that smile, but I didn't realize anyone was listening, so I'm a bit embarrassed. Her slightly almond-shaped eyes were a deep red. Her pale cheeks were a little blushed. Her long hair was gathered with a black ribbon. Her beautiful features would take anyone's breath away for a moment. All of her parts fit flawlessly together like puzzle pieces, making up her unbelievably perfect face. I'm sorry. It's 
it's about time I head back soon, so please excuse me. The girl looked somewhat disappointed and quietly got off the swing. Oh, sorry, I must have interrupted your alone time. No, I'm glad that we got to speak even just a little bit. Another faint smile appeared on her elegant face. Bye, I'm looking forward to seeing you again, Lee. Everyone knows our name. I'll be looking forward to it too. If it's possible, I'd love to hear you sing that song again. Perhaps, if the opportunity presents itself. Without breaking her beautiful smile, the girl left the park. After I made sure she was out of sight, I let out a big sigh. <sighs> Thinking about it, today certainly was the day for running into people from other realms. The ladies' man from earlier, that girl just now, it's not like I have a lot of demon friends and I rarely speak to demons outside of school. I just ran into that girl from the god realm too. I laughed a little to myself, but then I suddenly realized, uh, did I introduce myself? Thank you very much. I'll see you later, Reen. Bye. I'm looking forward to seeing you again, Reen. How did those girls know my name? I turned my head in the direction where the girl had headed out, but of course she was already gone. Do we go to the same school? But if they already knew my name, I must have introduced myself once before to them. It's hard to believe that I would forget about two girls of such stunning beauty. Well, if we're acquaintances, I'm sure we'll meet again at some point. There was no use trying to tackle this unsolvable mystery for now. At least, they both hinted that we would meet again, so I was positive that it would happen. I picked up my groceries and left the park. It was almost the rainy season, the long and melancholy rainy season. But when we got through it, the season of burning sun awaited. Summer was right around the corner. It left me with a vague feeling of hope and anxiety. The season made me feel like something special was about to happen. I could already see it beginning. I was wondering when that was going to play. I knew this game had an opening PV. June 14th, Monday. So it's the next day. Green. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop this very first episode here. As we have passed through the first day and been introduced into some of the characters, I hope to post the next episode to this quite soon so we can meet the rest of the characters and get more of a feel for the story. I hope you guys are excited to watch this and it kind of switches things up on my channel a bit for you guys. So yeah, let me know everything you think in the comments below and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!